welcome back to a new video today i'm with a new mercedes c-class 2022 model the version that i have it with me is the c200 amg line and today it's all about driving we will drive the car and we will see how it's to drive i will give you all the feedbacks the steering the direction the suspension the comfort the visibility everything about the driving will be in this video so stay with me until the end of the video if you want to find out how is to drive this new c-class so first of all of course you're interested in the price and all that stuff i want to tell you that i'm in switzerland if you are in switzerland or around switzerland guys you can come at tehash willy i will leave the link in the description if you want to buy the car if you want to test drive or whatever you have questions just ask them call them and ask them uh, i have to tell you guys that the car price start at 69 800 francs but with some extra packages uh, that I explain you in the full review video I have a separate full review video with the same car if you want to see it check it out on my channel probably it's already there if it's not already there will come soon so click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out with all that extra packages the price the final price will be 78,400 francs but because this car is not a brand new car you will have a 9,907 francs discount so the final price will be 68,500 francs because the car have around 1,000 kilometer I mean 10,000 discount it's amazing so yeah this is a great buy to be honest for what this car offer after i made the review is just insane i mean it's one of my favorite car to be honest now the car that i have it with me it's four matic it's four wheel drive it comes with a 1.5 liter petrol engine combined with a mild hybrid system electric system it has a 48 volt battery that helps the petrol engine to consume less to have less co2 emission and so on 204 horsepower 300 newton meters also uh, four cylinders in line all wheel drive as i said before and all that power is combined with a nine speed automatic transmission g-tronic that is just fabulous we will talk about that uh, as we drive now the consumption of the car around 8.2 liters and also 186 co2 emission so those are the most important information the suspension in the front multi-link independent suspension also in the back multi-link independent suspension great suspension i drive the car before it's just fabulous 0 to 100 7.1 second and also the maximum speed 241 kilometers the drag coefficient of the car it's 0 0.24 it's just incredible the drag coefficient it's very good uh, also the turning circle radius is 10.64 meters so guys those are the most important information now I guess uh, what's left is just let's drive the car let's see how it feels all right guys so let's drive it here is the key by the way this is the new key super nice key you can lock and unlock the car also you can open the front if you want electrically from the key also the key you can have it in your pocket so it comes with this keyless entry so all you have to do put your hand here unlock and lock the car electronic folding mirrors also by the way before i start driving i want to tell you that the car come with 18 inch rims those are AMG rims, pretty awesome kind of aerodynamic for the car. I explain more about the rims, I explain everything about the car, every single element, every single thing about the car, you will find it in my other video. Full review video, separate video with the same car, check it out guys there if you want to see it. Uh, there you find more information about the car. In this video it's all about driving. So first of all, putting the seat belt, you have electric adjustable seats from here. You can adjust every single position you want. You can also save the position of the seats from here. You have a great, great uh, position of driving on those seats. Those seats, I have to tell you, they are incredible, incredible, uh, comfortable. I see them on other Mercedes uh, models as well, and they are just phenomenal i wish i had it on my car also uh the steering wheel it's incredible is this amg new steering wheel from mercedes with those touch commands right here in glossy plastic it's just fabulous the grip the leather is just amazing i mean you can get more information from the other video guys the full review aluminum pedals by the way the car come with aluminum pedals this is the start engine button press the brake press the start engine button and now the engine it's on and to be honest you cannot feel any vibration inside the cabin 
it's so silent it's just crazy also the sound insulation inside the cabin it's incredible visibility on the windows uh it's very good also in the mirror also in this big mirror up here uh you can control very easy all the functions right here on the on the display you have the perfect driving position right here you can change different driving mode echo comfort mode sport mode you can see right here comfort sport sport plus and individual we will drive first time in echo mode and then i will explain you all that functions also here is the gear shifter like mercedes you can press the brake go in reverse you can see that 360 degrees camera that it's phenomenal uh, right here it, it comes with that new system that is gorgeous i also explain about this system in my other video and other than that you have some pedals to change the gear manual if you want to the visibility on the cockpit is gorgeous you can also change for example if you want to see uh, the classic view like that and consumption or you can see wherever you want to see reset from start yeah let's reset this yes reset from start yes okay go back now and then now it's reset we will see the consumption as well but also you can see uh, how was the consumption on the last 2000 kilometer 8.7 very good consumption uh, in my opinion and yeah you can see the navigation you can see a lot of information on the screen you can change in the sport mode if you want to see the sport mode or you can have it on your understand you can have the navigation right that or you can have uh, the assistant system where you can see the cars and stuff like that the same as on the Tesla I will show you as this as well uh, other than that great position great driving position the pedals are awesome uh, let's drive it I should say press the brake put it in reverse right now we are in comfort mode ah by the way before starting drive I want to show you something look at this guys you know this 360 degrees system from Mercedes where you can see around the car you can see the sensors uh, it's just incredible one of the best 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 system on the market today check it out on my other other video the full review there I explain everything it's so easy to park this car you can see right here you can see everything what is around the car press the brake put it down and drive right now we are in drive it's so silent uh, the steering wheel it's super soft and nice uh, smooth in, in echo mode right now the car it's locked the doors automatic it will go out here on the left side the pedals are very smooth you can feel the high quality inside this car immediately it's so easy to drive even though it's a big big car it's incredible easy to drive the car come with auto hold and all that new functions also as i said before it comes with a 1.5 liter petrol engine four cylinders in line 204 horsepower 300 newton meters combined with a nine speed automatic transmission g-tronic from mercedes kind of dusty here but yeah first impression incredible smooth the car feel just gorgeous the brakes visibility it's very good around the car and you can feel the high quality yeah Mercedes it's a Mercedes <laughs> can't say too many things about that gorgeous and also you can see on the screen it let you know that the highway it's it's ahead that's nice also if you don't want to see that uh, traffic sign and cars on the screen right here you can change it you can see the navigation like this so we can see also the navigation on the screen and also you can have the navigation right here on the on the screen so you can see how nice and how clear it will show you that that street and also you can see the camera right now in this moment uh, the car will show you the camera and right here you can see where you should go really really clear uh, on this screen it's a great system that you find it only on Mercedes cars
so it's very responsive it stayed quite good the suspension are really really good cars stay very good on the road also the acceleration the gear shifter it's work perfectly down here you have also the controllers for lane assist for cruise control it's right here wow the car stays so good on those curves much better than than my tesla model 3 oh my god and the gears is changing the gears so smooth so nice you don't even feel it and right now we are in eco mode then you can also choose the distance between you and the car in front from here you can set and reset uh, the cruise control for example great visibility in the mirrors you can see the blind spot technology it will warn you uh, when you are uh, turning on the blinkers from here you can choose the speed For example 80 we can set it to 80 you can see the wipers as well very very good quality on the wipers you have a stalk a new stalk here on the left side I like very much the grip on the steering wheel feels so so good quality also the suspension are really smooth right now in eco mode and the steering wheel it's incredible incredible smooth and soft now if we change the driving mode from here it's very easy uh, to uh, to to go with your hands on the on the screen right here it's incredible easy right now we are if i'm not wrong in comfort mode let's leave it in comfort mode also this screen 12 inch screen that it's uh, the cockpit screen it's incredible uh, clear and the resolution is great the brightness is great you can see a lot of information right there it's so clear uh, and you can see so easy on which way you should go Also, you have some pedals here behind the steering wheel if you want to change the gears you can change it without any problem I can set the speed here for example to 60 because we have a 60 um, very very comfortable it's, it's, it's almost like an, a, the S-Class, you know, the S-Class that I drive before was with air suspensions and the suspension was, were like crazy, like you're floating on the air, but this one, this multi-link suspension, uh, independent that this C-Class use, uh, they are also incredible good, I can feel it already, you don't even need the air suspensions because those are very good very nice very relaxing driving position uh, on those seats I cannot say too much about the car guys it's just just gorgeous gorgeous really pleasant and you can see the camera right here that show you where you should go uh, on the next street and you have also the the, head up is, the, um, the cockpit here in the front that show you the navigation you can change and you can see different stuff here if you don't like that um, you can see right there on the screen it will show you go go right and also here I'm not going to go there because I have other uh, road but yeah it's great that you can see all those options also the car can read the traffic speed limit and he know I will have to slow down and it will slow down for you automatically 
and that's really incredible that's in it's like the car working together with the the navigation system and the uh, cruise control system and it will adjust the the speed depend on which street you are going for example here it's 80 i didn't have to uh, readjust the cruise control uh, readjust itself automatic to 80 and right now the car will keep the, the speed will keep the distance between me and the car in front it's an incredible uh, system to be honest also it keeps the lane right now I have the, the hand on the steering wheel for the safety but you can see the car it's actually uh, keeping the lane for me right now yeah wait or yes exactly it will say put your hands on the steering wheel but actually it will it will kind of steer uh, automatic for you this cruise control for from mercedes this is kind of pilot autopilot level two it's work really really good i test it also on the uh, other cars from mercedes uh, the last in the last years and, and in the last year and it, it worked really good not so much noise from outside it's very silent inside the cabin the sound insulation from the exterior is very good I, I did notice that and everything even the stalks even the pedals and the steering wheel and everything everything feel so good quality premium um, you immediately know notice and know that you are in a high-class vehicle they put a lot, a lot of work and the uh, materials are very good quality. Even the blinkers, when you, when you turn on the blinkers, you can feel the, the good quality uh, on it. The brakes, the pedals feel super smooth and nice. Uh, the car um come also with a 20 uh, with a 48 volt hybrid battery that work together with the petrol engine uh, to give you the best consumption the best um co2 emission and right now you can see on the right side of the screen it's an eq um writing there and it's show you when the car regenerate the, the battery back the energy back in the battery right now or when you accelerate it use power so it's charged the 48 volt battery while you go downhill while you're braking right now for example it's charging the 48 volt battery so the mild hybrid uh, system will work uh, sometimes to give you uh, some help also this uh, electric motor that working with the petrol motor have a power of 20 horsepower so it comes with extra uh, power in the system so uh, you will have some great great uh, consumption for example when you go on, on the highway it will kick in the, the electric motor and you can get some great consumptions Also in the night time you can see the ambient light, it's fabulous inside this car. Um, you can change the colors, you have so many colors and so many possibilities to change it. Uh, also when you change for example the temperature uh, of, the, of the vent, if you go warm it will change the color and it has some kind of place like that. It's a daytime right now, I cannot show you so well but this is, this is the best, best system um that i find it until now on the car in terms of light ambient light uh, interior cockpit mercedes is, is totally the best and this uh, mercedes c-class it's it's in my opinion one of the best car um, on the market today in this class if not the best i would these day makes makes also great cars but um this C-Class Mercedes is just, I don't know, on my taste, um, it's crazy. In the interior, it's just fabulous. Suspension are 
gorgeous in comfort mode let's go in sport mode guys actually let's go in sport plus and now when you accelerate you can hear a little bit of noise from the exhaust pipes also the gearbox is changing the and the rpm right now is changing a little bit later i can feel the steering wheel it's a little bit more stiffer right now uh, so it will give you that sporty feeling man but this steering wheel that's such a nice grip love the steering wheel it's lovely lovely car Right now it's rolling and I can see that the electric motor uh, kind of help when you are rolling right now in this moment it's working with the electric motor right now it's it's kind of rolling and it's it's used just a little bit of energy it's so smart this this system this gearbox the nine speed g-tronic is so smart he know when you want to accelerate he know when you want to need the power when you need the power so it will adjust itself it's, it's gorgeous gorgeous system yeah you, it's almost like you're driving an electric car you, you hear uh, sometimes the engine when you are in sport mode, but when you drive in echo or comfort mode, it's just like an electric car. I mean, it's not big difference in terms of flow. I feel like I can drive million miles with on those seats in this car. It is so comfortable, so business, so good for long trips. Also, the car comes with a lot of warnings, a lot of safety features, a lot of comfort features. Aerodynamic of the car 0 0.24 CD drag coefficiency, it's gorgeous. I mean, it's the shape of the car is just crazy. And yeah, let's see what is the consumption until now, guys. Because I reset it early, if you remember. In the last 15, 16 kilometer, we have 6.2 liter consumption. Oh my God, this is really good. And the, the climatic system, it's on. Wow, 6.1 liter consumption, last 16 kilometer. Oh. Oh yeah, that's that's really good. That's really good. And you have that power at your at your feet. Oh man. This is perfect. I think this engine, this combination is just perfect. 1.5 liter petrol engine on this car, four cylinders, 204 lit uh, horsepower. It's just perfect with that mild hybrid system. You, didn't, you don't need more power than that. This is this car is not a sporty car. It's a business car. It's a um, comfort car, I should say. So th this is just perfect, and it will give you the best economy, the best consumption, with the best comfort, and with great safety features. So what can you ask more from it, guys? I don't know, it's just lovely, lovely. I love what Mercedes did with this car, really I love it. I really think they did a great job with the car. And also this cruise control, it's working really good. If you want for example to change the gear manually you can do it from here from those pedals you just have to press it and then right now it tell me change the gear 
sixth I changed it from here it's work really good and you can change the gear manual if you want from from the pedals here behind the steering wheel it's just lovely if you hold it for a few seconds it go directly in drive this right side you hold it for three seconds and go go back to automatic have some fun with this car I'm sure you can have some fun on the twisty road on the mountains um, I think you can have some fun it feels quite agile in the same time And over those bumps, he's doing such a good job. Don't even feel any bump. And now we are in sport mode. Very good visibility on the mirror. I mean, it's perfect visibility. Um, they have they, they have created a big window in the back there. So the mirror is big here and you have such a good visibility mirrors are are not huge but are the perfect size for this car the 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 steering and the direction of the car it's incredible precise and the way you sit on those seats is just crazy i mean very very good The way it's changed the gears. <laughs> oh man, the way it's changed the gears is lovely. Top. What can I say? This is the top, top of the top. 6.4 liter consumption, 21 kilometers. Oh man. I didn't expect that and if you look at the consumption guys if you look at the uh, um, VLTP estimate consumption average consumption that they officially declare it's 8.5 liter and I have 6.4 liter right now and I'm sure I can get I can get even better right now in sport mode if I go in eco mode and drive only in eco mode I'm 100% sure I can get some amazing consumption look at this 6.4 liter 22 kilometers incredible and if I drive only in eco mode I will get some some perfect consumptions Wow wow how easy how smooth the gearbox working it's, it's just lovely 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 mercedes what can you expect from a mercedes here i take those curves it's so agile it's incredible agile man it's incredible agile also here if I let's see the turning radius of the car look at this it's gorgeous 10.6 meters turning radius it's just love it love it love it love it if you want to park it no problem press the brake put it in reverse look at this you have those cameras around the car that help you park the car in the perfect place if you go to auto you can see the car from up so you can see if you can park right or not it doesn't matter for me right now it's just for the purpose i will show you like this it's just crazy look at this look at this it's just crazy anyway i will drive away i just stopped the car for a second here yeah. 
and then put it in park press the park button and that's it guys that was the drive silent smooth um, gorgeous gorgeous I mean yeah I know from from before I start driving I know this this will be a pleasant drive it's so relaxing the suspension are very good uh, the visibility it's incredible good even in this mirror up here it's very good visibility because you have a big window there and I know how they position this mirror up here they position it so good that you have a perfect visibility in the back a lot of safety features uh, great visibility on the cockpit and uh, on the navigation system it's just high class top high class if you don't have the money for an s class or if you think the s class is too big for you or yeah whatever reason the c class it's a great option and i think this might be the best car in this class at least in top three it's for sure and my rating for this car from one to ten will be a, a 9.7 this will be the rating because I think it's just incredible the material qualities that they use inside the car are top the driving feeling the gearbox uh, the steering the direction the pedals acceleration uh, different driving modes it's just gorgeous and the way it works the mild hybrid system with the petrol engine is just gorgeous the consumption guys you see the way I drive it's 6.6 .6 liter last 22 kilometers and if I drive only in eco mode I'm sure I can get around 5 liter the consumption it's just wow I mean for this car for the size of the car it's just perfect so guys what can I say? Love the car, lovely car, incredible interior quality, safety features. The price is also good for a top car, I think, in my opinion. And that was the video, guys. If you have questions, just ask me down below, wherever you want. I will answer to all of you. Also, thank you very much for watching my videos. I hope I cover everything. I hope I didn't miss something. Sometimes I did, but I hope I answer all your questions about this new Mercedes C-Class. Thank you very much for watching my videos guys if you want to see the full review I have a separate video I will leave the link in the description to the car if you are in Switzerland around Switzerland if you want to buy it if you want to test drive it if you want to see the car just contact them uh, check out the car and yeah it's, it's, it's amazing I mean it's a great car also don't forget to check out our website sdadancar.com there you find a lot of videos articles about cars and and more also subscribe like and share the video i would really appreciate that guys uh also thank you very much as always for watching my videos stay safe and see you soon in the next one bye guys